Hello, this is the Ulenzik Shellster. We have been working with this image in a former video where we showcased the outstanding dynamic range of the Pentax K1. However, when we have pushed things so far as we have done here, we will meet a few problems. Like for instance some grey shading in this area and there are some halos around the branches which means that if we load this image as it is into Photoshop we will have to deal with these things in Photoshop and that can be difficult to get rid of or in order to get a, a good result so is there a better way to edit this image in Photoshop? Yes, there is. We can use something called double processing. That is, we will prepare this image two times. One time for the highlights and for the shadows. So let's start out with resetting everything. And first we will prepare our exposure for the highlights. This is, by the way, how the image looked straight out of camera. As we can see from the histogram, we have some highlights clipping, so we need to take down the highlights a bit. There we are. We will uh, add some vibrance to the sky. We can try to play with the light slider and see if we can add some saturation and light to the sky. Well, I don't like what's going on here. So uh, this part becomes very bright and this one not. So it looks like I get some really weird haloing going on. So I won't touch that one. Next, remove chromatic aberration and add some noise reduction to my sky and I will be pretty liberal with the noise reduction for the sky and I will uh, open this image as a smart object in Photoshop the advantage of doing that is that I can double click on the thumbnail and the image will open up again in ACR in Photoshop where I can continue to adjust the image using the RAW engine in Photoshop so I can adjust exposure and all the other things I have adjusted here I have already loaded the image into Photoshop so we will not do it right now instead we will now try to make an exposure for the shadows so we need to get some shadow detail first I will take up the exposure Open up the shadows. We have still some black clipping. So I will open up the blacks and I will just take down the highlights a little bit, which probably will make the blending a little easier for us. But not so much that I get any gray zones in this area. Yeah, something like that. We have already added some vibrance, perhaps a little more for the shadows. And we will take down noise reduction, something like that. And we need to pre sharpen the image around 50 radius, almost zero detail, 100. And we will do some light masking. Press on the old key and there we are. And I will load this image also as a smart object in Photoshop. So here we have our 
shadow exposure and over highlight exposure and uh, it won't work to do it like this control a control copy and control b then this layer no longer is a smart object so control set to go back so how can we bring this brightest exposure over to the darkest without losing its smart object well we can do it like this i will drag so both are not uh, attached to the top and i will just use the move tool and drag this one over so. there we are Well, it has moved. Why did it move? Well, we can get it back in place. Okay, there we are. Now we have both our exposures as one file or one document. And how will I go about blending these two exposures? There are various ways we can do this, of course. But I think I will use the blend ifs sliders. And since my brightest exposure is on the top, I will only work with these two. So, first of all, I will start to feather things, rest on the old key, and more of the dark exposure will shine through. I will try to fine-tune it this and continue on the top to bring more of the brighter tones let's see how this looks preview so we have now brought more of our highlight exposure into the shadow exposure And of course, we can continue to fine tune things until we get the result we are happy with. And now, when I'm happy, I click OK. Let's have a look at the histogram. Well, we have light values or tones from the darkest to the brightest so this is one way of double processing an image but let's see what happens if i for example double click on this layer and we are now in the raw engine, the ACR in Photoshop. And these are the settings I used. And I can now continue to work with them if I so please. I can, for instance, increase vibrance, perhaps take down the highlights a little, perhaps I'm going to increase the exposure or take down the exposure back the highlights or whatever I find pleasing but I will click cancel now so there we are okay thank you for watching this tutorial and have a great day